A very warm welcome to the Amersham Methodist Circuit YouTube channel and to this edition of Thought for Sunday for Sunday the 25th of June 2023. My name is Adam Wells and I am the Superintendent Minister of the Amersham Methodist Circuit. You are most welcome. To start us off today we turn to the hymn 673 in Singing the Faith. Will you come and follow me if I but call your name? It's all about commitment to Christ. Will you come and follow me if I but call your name? Will you go where you don't know and never be the same? Will you let my love be shown? Will you let my name be known? Will you let my life be grown in you and you in me? Will you leave yourself behind? If I but call your name Will you care for cruel and kind And never be the same Will you risk the hostile stare Should your life attract or scare Will you let me answer prayer in you blinded see if I but call your name will you set the prisoners free and never be the same will you kiss the leper clean and do such as this unseen and admit to what I mean in you and you If I but call your name Will you quell the fear inside And never be the same Will you use the faith you found To reshape the world around Through my sight and touch and sound In you and you Your summons echoes true when you but call my name. Let me turn and follow you and never be the same. In your company I'll go where your love and footsteps show. Thus I'll move and live and grow. reading is from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 10, beginning to read at verse 34, and Anne is going to read it for us. Thank you. Jesus said, Do not think that I have come to bring peace to the earth. I have not come to bring peace, but a sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, and a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and one's foes will be members of one's own household. Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take up the cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Those who find their life will lose it. And those who lose their life for my sake will find it. Let's talk about commitment. 
because there are varying levels of commitment that exist in many things. I'm very fond of YouTube videos and there are various levels of commitment in terms of the way you can respond to them. You can subscribe as many people have to this channel. If you haven't already, why not do so? Or you can become a Patreon member with some channels. That means you pay them some money, but we don't feel it's right to ask you for any money, so we don't do that. In terms of human relationships, the commitment of sharing a house, of living together, being in a civil partnership, or being married. These are all different and to a certain extent varied levels of commitment. And they're complex because some people who live together, who cohabit, are really very committed to each other. Some people who have been married for some time fall out and that commitment comes to an end. The short reading that we had from Matthew's Gospel is all about commitment. I did not come to bring peace, but a sword, says Jesus. Commitment to Jesus is going to be something that's so important and precious that people will fall out, even fight over it. And look at the wars between people of the same faith. But then it goes on to suggest that some relationships that might get strained over someone's commitment to Christ. Jesus highlights that it will come between our closest relationships. A man against his father, a daughter against her mother, a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies will be the members of his own household. That's very hard to deal with. It's an astounding level of commitment. But then again, families can sometimes fall out about all sorts of things. And then this commitment is expressed in how much we love Christ. That we should love Christ more than members of our own family. Still hard. And taken in isolation, this little passage can seem very hard indeed. Except that as followers of Christ, if we are committed to him, we are called to love our neighbours and our families, to take care of them and to cherish them. It's not telling us to neglect, neglect or fall out with our nearest and dearest, or to love them less, even if we disagree. It does encourage us to put Christ first in our lives, which I want to add, will enable us to better love others, even those with whom we disagree. This gives us two questions. To what are we really committed? What's really important to us and where does Christ fit into that? And how committed are we in our relationship with Christ? I'll leave you to ponder those as a thought for this Sunday. A song, a, a hymn about commitment, 303 in Singing the Faith. I know that my Redeemer lives. <laughs>